Okay. Just gonna drop you guys off. And I'm gonna follow you guys slowly just in case somebody says something, okay? I'm Lisa and I turned 45 and realized that life is going by really fast. So I set a challenge for myself to add playfulness and fun to my life in order to connect more deeply and with more joy with the people in my life. I have a tradition with my sister Catherine that every year when she comes home for Thanksgiving, I pick her up from the airport. So I had an idea to do something a little bit different when I do that this year, and I think she'll be surprised and it'll just set a fun, playful tone for her trip. And then I think that the passers-by will probably get a kick out of it. I thought it'd be a lot more fun to do this if I had an accomplice, and my dad is always up for doing something fun and goofy, so I thought he'd be the perfect person to ask to join me in it. Hey, Dad. Hey, Lee. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I was calling you for kind of a funny reason. What's that? I had an idea, and I wanted to see if I could enlist your help with it. What's your idea? Okay, so when I pick up Catherine from the airport, I was thinking we could dress up in gorilla suits and just show up like it's a totally normal way to walk around the airport. That is hilarious. I love that idea. Catherine. I think we should probably not even act like we know her at first and just see what her reaction is because I think it'd be kind of priceless. Yeah, it, it probably will uh, be memorable for some of the people that may see us. Okay, so what we could do is we could bring a bunch of bananas with us and we can write inspirational sayings on them and just have them. And if anyone interacts with us, we can just give them a banana. I love that. I don't know. If you see something funny, it might kind of lift people's spirits from the hustle and bustle of Thanksgiving travel days. So I'll, I'll get this, the gorilla suits and I'll get some bananas. That's great. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for being such a good sport. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I recruited my sweet husband David to help with these shenanigans. The night before we were gonna pick up Catherine, I got a call from my brother Daniel and he was really worried that we might get in trouble at the airport. Hey Lise, give me a call if you get this tonight. I've been thinking about you guys' uh, gorilla outfit thing and I'm a little concerned that they take airport security so serious these days that I'm worried that you guys will get tackled or maced or worse. Anyways, call me back. All right, love you, bye. So what do you think we ought to do? you think we should just wing it and see how we do, or...? Well, I'm a little scared to call the Harbor Police and have them say no, and then we really won't be able to do it. I don't know. Now I'm kind of discouraged. <laughs> well, I think we should just take the risk, and if the Harbor Police... ...become an issue, then we'll just beg forgiveness. Just real quick, and Rachel, if you don't mind getting like um, reaction kind of stuff, and David, if you'll get wide shot. Sure, we'll play it during the trial. <laughs> getting ready for this has actually been pretty complicated. Get the gorilla suits in, make sure they fit. We had to coordinate with Catherine's schedule so that we'd be ready when she arrived. And I hope my sister is delighted when she sees that we did something just goofy and fun with her and played around. How are you guys feeling? Excited. <laughs> Suddenly, because her flight was early, we were super rushed. Do you guys know which baggage claim? No? You guys just want to start walking from here somewhere? Okay. I, I'm going to follow you guys slowly just in case somebody says something. Okay? We walk into the sliding doors 
and the only people in that corridor were TSA agents and us. As we were walking down that corridor, I spotted Catherine, and she already had her bag and was walking out of the airport. Here she is. She's straight ahead. She's right there. She just went out the door. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She was a little bit startled. Oh my gosh, she scared me. <laughs> but she said that she knew it was us when I Hi. offered her a hug. <laughs> my dad, still in character, went back into the airport because he still had bananas and beach balls, and we just kept handing them out. And it was just cute to see that the reaction was pretty positive. Flashback to my childhood when <laughs> that scared me. When did you realize? Wait, wait, you're getting some reactions over there. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First, I wasn't sure if it was just some people at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> some strange people. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fun. I'm surprised people reacted as positively as they did. Because I thought people were going to be more freaked out. Yeah. They seem, more, they seem more enchanted, sort of. You know, as soon as you start handing somebody something, immediately that gesture relaxes them and makes them yeah. feel like, you know, it's good, you know? Well, you started it off by giving those security the bananas. Yeah. That was a good idea. I hope that Catherine will always remember this airport pickup and look back on it fondly as something crazy her family did, but also just something to show her that we want to have fun with her. And I think sometimes the mischievous fun makes the best memories. And I want to build some of those with the people I love. So conspiring with my dad and then giving Catherine this memory where she came home and was greeted by gorillas is an opportunity to make memories now that we'll remember forever. I don't know what this is all about, but you impacted a lot of us in there just now oh, by these things. So. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.